Hey, what's going on everybody? Matt Passaccio here once again for WMCT TV and WMCT Sports. And welcome to episode six of the Senior Spotlight Show. Today in studio, we're fortunate enough to be joined by Shayla McCarthy and Devin Gowoski. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thanks thank for having you. us. Uh, not a problem at all. And really, thank you because I know that it's the end of your senior year. It's an incredibly busy but exciting time. So Shay, we'll start, we'll start with you. Um, first, how has the senior year gone for you? And was there anything that kind of popped up that you really weren't expecting? Um, well, it's been exciting because mm. there's only four seniors on the team. So it's been definitely more of a tight-knit group. And I think the team is very close this year. So it's been really nice getting to do like team things and team dinners. Um, but yeah, nothing I wouldn't expect, I would say. So it's your, it's your senior year, obviously, like you've been looking forward to this year, your entire uh, academic career. Um, if you were to give your old self advice or a friend that's a junior going into her senior year next year, what type of advice would you give? I would say to start earlier on what I want to do and where I want to go, because I definitely personally um, started really late and decided very late on schools. Um, even if I wanted to play a sport in college. Um, so I would definitely look at things way sooner. Yeah. yeah. And uh, where have you decided to go? I decided on UMaine. Oh, cool. So. Good for you. Yeah, thank you. Um, why did you choose that school? It was a really good middle for me. Um, I didn't want to make a drastic decision on like flying somewhere or being too close to home. So I think UMaine was a good balance in like D1 sports, but a great nursing program still and not too far from home. So. Great. Well, that answered my follow-up question oh. as to what your major was going to be, so that works out. Yeah. Uh, Devin, how about you? Senior year, it's academically, athletically, how's mm -hmm. it been going for you so far? It's been great, actually. I was super stressed for a bit because recently, as you were saying, these past few months have been um, very, you have to make your decisions and then there's a lot of things to consider. But um, the first half of the year, it was really nice enjoying it. Our grade has gotten a lot closer because everybody's seniors, everybody's in the same boat. We want to spend time together. Um, but it's been really good. Uh, the sports season has been going really well. We were nervous. We lost nine seniors last year. So we were mm. like, this might be a building year, but we're actually doing so well. Seven um, and three, right? Yeah. Five yeah. and all in league play. We're doing Crushing. great. Yeah, it's great. great. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. Now, same question though. Uh, you were coming into your senior year. Was there anything that you didn't really anticipate that kind of took you by surprise that you weren't really like anticipating happening to you? Um, I just committed to Tennessee. Okay. And she's rapping. I, <laughs> yeah. I, um, I always thought I was like a small school person. Like I like my group of friends. I'm friends with other people, but I usually hang around the same group of people. And it was definitely, I committed last night at 11.55. <laughs> last night? Last night. Wow. It was crazy. So it was definitely an impulse decision, um, but a I was recently really... committed Lady Vol. Good for you. Yeah, huh? Thank you. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Um, so yeah, so that was definitely shocking to me that I made that so last minute, but. Hey, not nah, better late than never. Yeah, right? <laughs> let's see though. Um, same question from before. Uh, if there was a piece of advice that you were to give to somebody that was going to be coming into their senior year or giving your old self a piece of advice that you could really use, what would it be? Um, I think I would have told myself to look at more schools with an open mind. I feel like I went into a lot of um, campuses and I was like, this doesn't really have what I'm looking for, but I didn't necessarily look at everything that they did offer. And so I ended up narrowing down to one big school and one small school, and I didn't want to look at any other schools, but I should have kept an open mind, um, which is why I'm going out of my comfort zone with Tennessee. So just definitely look at your options and consider them. And Tennessee, obviously D1, mm -hmm. major school, but for you specifically, what will you be majoring in? And what was it that really was the tipping point in making that decision? Um, I'm going to be majoring in biomedical engineering, and the tipping point, I guess, for me was, as I was saying, I've always been very secluded, and I've wanted to be, I'm more of an introvert, but I would love to be an extrovert, and I think that going to a big school is going to push me out of my comfort zone, it's going to give me so many opportunities that a small school can't give me, and so I really just wanted to push myself socially, and it's a great program academically as well, so it was just seemed like an all-around, well-rounded choice. That's incredibly self-aware. Thank Good you. For you. No, I, no I, I, for, my, for me personally, you know, when I got out of high school, I didn't go to college right away. I went into the, the military. And oh, no. being in the military for a few years there, like you said, took me away from my parents. It took me away from my, my little close-knit group of friends mm -hmm. that I just really relied on so right. much. And it made me really like strive to be better. And it, learned, it, it taught me how to chop it up with other different types of people too. So mm -hmm. I completely understand that. So, Good for you both having chosen a school. Um, so let's bring Thank it you. back to the uh, 
back to the field. And so Shay, you're a five-year varsity lacrosse player, right? Mm -hmm. And you're also a member of the, uh, the girls' volleyball team as well. Um, talk to me about your experiences in general, just having played both at a high level and what it means to you to be a captain. Well, I've had a lot of great captains um, teach me, so I definitely wanted Name to... Name drop. Come on. I'm yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa Craig yep. and Leah Yuklovich mm -hmm. um, really like inspired me to be very like included in the team and put effort in like being an example and like going the extra step to text people after the game or like help them on the field or you know um, even like be for them be there for them in a different way as well um, and like I would say become their friends first so I think it was really nice seeing that so I kind of had somewhere you know to to go from there um, what was your other question um just what it's what it's like you know, you've, you've been playing these two sports at such a high level, just the camaraderie and everything like that. And you largely yeah. answered my question about yeah. what it's like being a captain, so yeah. that, that's good. Um, Devin, six-year varsity lacrosse player, mm -hmm. also has played on the other uh, girls' uh, volleyball team as well. Um, just talk to me about playing athletics at a school like AMSA and how rewarding it was for you to work your way to being a leader on the team. Mm -hmm. So... For lacrosse, it was definitely, so I started my sixth grade year and I'm now a senior, so building up to this point has been very huge. Um, and it's nice, I got to see how the team develops and everything and trying to balance life academically and socially, or athletically um, is definitely, it's definitely very different being a captain, I mm -hmm. would say. Cause you gotta, like you are saying, put the team first and like reach out to people and everything. But I think it's amazing. It's like, I feel closer to a lot of the girls um, putting in the effort more and competing at such a high level. Like I've always been a competitive person and all of these girls on the team want to win. We're all there for the same reasons. And so we all work together very well, I would say, and it's great. And, <clears throat> excuse me, but I mean, it's, it's one thing to be from, you know, a regular school, but being from a school like AMSA that mm -hmm. is so academically challenging, mm -hmm. you know, and then trying to play athletics at a, at a high level. And then you throw the added layer of commitment and leadership mm -hmm. on top of it. I mean, it just, these quotes that I'm, I'm about to start reading to yeah. you will kind of illustrate how other people feel, but mm -hmm. it's just, it's yeah. really a testament to, to what you guys have shown people around you over the past handful of years. And I'll just jump right into it. So uh, Devin from Coach LeBear. <clears throat> Devin is a quiet leader and someone that can always, you can always count on. She elevates the players around her with her positive team first attitude. And this is from athletic director uh, Pete Jones. Devin's demeanor is one to be emulated. She never lets her highs get too high or her lows get too low. She's very even keeled, cool, calm, and collected. She plays volleyball and lacrosse with poise and composure that has always impressed me. So you're talking about a coach that you've had for years, an athletic director that's seen you play throughout your entire career. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to hear those type of words being spoken about you? It really actually lifts me up a lot. Um, I'm, obviously, all coaches are going to reward their students, but hearing stuff like that is like they don't, they're not going to say that to you every day. Right. Um, and especially from Pete Jones, um, he's our athletic director, and he always goes out of his way to reach out to us. There was one time, actually, I passed out on the field, and he oh my emailed. <laughs> that was crazy. And he like took the extra step to reach out to me and was like, hey, how are you doing all of this? And it's like these people like mean a lot, and so to hear them think that I'm a good captain, so it's definitely uplifting. That's right. I mean, it really just seems like a really great communal type feel at that school. It really mm -hmm. does. Yeah. Um, Shay, uh, starting with Coach LeBear. Shayla brings a positive energy to the team. She is social and enthusiastic, always smiling, and does a great job staying positive. And from Pete Jones, Shayla leads with a quiet confidence. One thing that sticks out to me about Shayla is that she gets the same enjoyment out of seeing her teammates succeed as she does when she's scoring or playing well herself. So I pose the same question to you. How does it make you feel? Well, it's really sweet, and I'm glad that they see that um, and feel that way. I definitely, you know, I think going back to your other question, like it's hard to balance everything, including like social life and academics and like putting your team first. But I think AMPS has definitely taught me um, like how to balance out my life for sure, because I think that's really important in all stages, even like throughout college. So. Um, I'm grateful for that, and I agree with Dev. I mean, P. Jones have been, has been great my entire career. Um, he definitely takes the extra step, and like he makes his office very open. And like I always feel welcome to go in and like ask him a question, even like about merch the other day. It was like mm -hmm. a quick pop in, but he was great. And Coach Labar, 
um, is the same way. She's always very like open with her team, and I think she makes the extra step to like make you feel comfortable to talk to her about other things, not even just lacrosse. You know, so um, I'm happy that they feel the same way. That's great. And I told you I was going to mess up her name. I told you before the interview. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Coach Lebo. I apologize. My bad on that one. Um, so um, just. I know for a fact that uh, Pete Jones and the rest of the, the coaches, that they're very um, aware of how you guys come across in these interviews, and they want to make sure that they are not only raising great students and athletes, but people as well. Mm -hmm. And you guys have definitely done a great job throughout your academic mm -hmm. and, and uh, athletic career. So congratulations on that Thank one. You. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, we'll do a little bit of a, a couple of lighthearted questions. Um, so this time of year, this part of your lives, and the Guru's hand before, incredibly hectic and stressful. Um, so, Devin, you know, what do you do during your free time to try to decompress? I recently have got a gym membership, and okay. I like to go there a lot. It just takes things off my mind and helps me feel better, too. Um, and if I'm not doing that, I have a sister. She's also on the lacrosse team, and so me and her, we just sometimes we just sit in each other's room and debrief. So I love her for that, but yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, Shay, how about you? Um, I also love the gym. Definitely, like, makes me feel better. Um, and I love naps, like <laughs> genuinely, <laughs> after That's practice. Quite okay. Yeah, um, like a quick power nap, like always gets me right. So yeah, there's a sweet spot though. Like you sometimes you can't go lay over down. like 30 oh, minutes. Yeah, I've learned. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. learned. Yeah. You like tend to only lay there for about 20, 30 minutes, and like an hour and a half goes by, and you're pretty much toast for like the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, you can't exactly. sleep, and then the whole yes. next day is ruined. So yes, it kind of defeats schedule. the purpose. But um, and then next day we'll, we'll go back to you with this one. And uh, we spoke about this a little bit before, uh, but what are you looking forward to most post-graduation? This summer, going into school next year, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, I would say jumping out of my comfort zone. I think AMSA is a very small school, which I do like because I know everyone and like, I you know, know my group. But I think it's going to be important to like, step out of that and meet new people and go to a completely different place. Um, and I guess enhance my learning with yeah. like, I guess this nursing, because yeah. that's like my interest. So. And just beginning the, the beginning phase of building yeah. the rest of your life. Completely. You know, you've, Completely. you've gotten through this, this first part of your life. You gain all this education training. Now it's time to get out there and show what you got. Mm -hmm. you know? So mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, how about you? What are you looking forward yeah, to the most? Um, kind of the same thing. I'm very excited to go out of my comfort zone and I'm really looking forward to meeting new people and like finding, I feel like you meet a lot of your close friends in college and that I'm so excited for all the opportunities and like the future is open for anything. You don't know what's going to happen. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Well, we're gearing towards the, the end of the interview here. So this is the, the part where I give you an opportunity to talk about the different people in your life that have helped you ascend to this point. Um, Shay, who do you want to give some shout outs to? I would say Alyssa Craig first definitely taught me how to be a good captain, um, or at least so I hope so. <laughs> but um, she, like, I think she did such a good job at balancing, like, showing her skills on the field and kind of motivating me, but also taking the extra step off the field, like I said. And my second one would go to my brother, Harry, because, I mean, he's a great athlete, so I'm just going to start there. Um, but he keeps me, like, motivated, and he keeps the competition between us, which keeps me, like, wanting to do better and better. Sure. And I really appreciate how serious he takes his sports and his team. And, I mean, like, if they lose, like, the entire, like, night is just ruined for the entire house. I mean, like, the dinner table is silent. Like, it's, it's pretty bad. So I really, um, like... I really like that, Yeah. you know? Cool. Devin, how about you? Who would you like to shout out? Um, first, I'd like to shout out my parents. Um, my dad has constantly always been so supportive of me, no matter what I do or whatever I choose for college, anything. Um, he's always there, and he's definitely a good person to go to when I need to relieve some stress. Um, my mother has always, always pushed me to be the best. She wants nothing but the best for me, um, and I wouldn't be who I was if she didn't continue to push me like she does today. And then... I also want to shout out my older sister, Erin. Um, she's been an idol my entire life. We've never, I want to say never, but we've 
not necessarily the closest because she's in college right now and so I haven't seen her in a bit um, but I still look up to her and I always reach out to her if I need anything like she's my go-to person and I love her for that as so well as my little sister I mentioned earlier she's been a great friend for me this entire time mm -hmm. that's great very sweet well <clears throat> good luck to well good luck to the both you in your, your your upcoming summer I hope you guys have a blast before you head off to college <laughs> thank you you, you <laughs> may and you obviously go balls um, but really thank you again for for taking the time um, and good luck the rest of the season, right? Thank, Thank you, you for having so us. much. You're yeah. very welcome. Well, that's going to wrap up this installment of the Senior Spotlight Show. Um, if you'd like to watch the video version of this, we make it available on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and you can also watch it on demand at wmct-tv.com. And if you spend way too much time in the car like I do, like two, two and a half hours a day worth of time, mm -hmm. um, this is also available um, in just the audio version, whether it be on Spotify, Apple um, Podcasts, or Amazon Music. All right, well, that's gonna do it for here. See you next time.